A Southern Alberta MLA is defending himself tonight after admitting he's been renting out his Edmonton apartment on Airbnb. That suite is subsidized by taxpayers. The revelation creating a bit of a firestorm in our province today. Our Susan Amarongan on the story joining us more with what she has gathered today on this. Susan? Joel, Derek Fildebrandt used to defend taxpayers in his role with the Canadian Taxpayers Federation. He's now an MLA and serves as the United Conservative Party's finance critic. The irony isn't lost on the Premier. You can talk the talk, but you need to walk the talk, and I don't think that he has been. Before being elected, Derek Fildebrandt was known for fighting the waste of taxpayer money. Now he's accused of double-dipping, renting out his Edmonton apartment on Airbnb, the same apartment he's been receiving taxpayer funding for. In a statement defending his actions, Fildebrandt says, When I ride in a city, I use Uber. When I want to communicate with constituents, I use Facebook and Twitter. When I have an empty house, I use Airbnb. Let me just say, uh, you know, um, I, I have a, a, a vehicle that sometimes is uh, parked. It is not my intention to rent it out to Uber. Another party leader also weighing in. Derek Fildebrandt is personally benefiting from a taxpayer-subsidized apartment. That is wrong. I believe he's broken the rules. Fildebrandt counters, saying he is compliant with the rules, but this political scientist says that doesn't matter. For someone with his history to cl simply claim it's legal, it's not an excuse he ever would have accepted as Canadian Taxpayer Federation uh, chief or, or as finance critic. Um, I think the, the hypocrisy is a real problem for him. His former employer says while the rules seem to allow this, what Phil DeBrandt has done is wrong. When MLAs are given these funds, they're not meant for them to be able to use and turn to uh, profit uh, personally from it. Fildebrandt earned just over $2,500 over eight months. MLAs from outside Edmonton are entitled to a maximum of $23,000 a year to pay for housing. I think when you talk to John and Jean taxpayer on the street, you'll probably hear that they don't have a problem reimbursing MLAs for legitimate expenses. But many don't see this as legitimate. That's it. A really interesting way to make extra revenue off of the taxpayers, I suppose. Uh, totally unethical. He's already getting free rent and everything else, and and we have to pay for it, the taxpayer. That's, that's wrong. It's pretty ridiculous. You shouldn't be able to rent it out. If he's not there, it stays empty or whatever. And Derek Fildebrandt says he will put that money he earned, about $2,500, towards paying down the provincial debt, Joel. All right, Susan, in light of what's happened here, there are calls for change. Mm -hmm, that's right. The Alberta Party's Greg Clark has asked the Speaker to investigate, along with the Legislative Assembly Office. And the Canadian Taxpayers Federation also believes the rules need to be reviewed and tightened. All right, Susan, thank you. Mm -hmm.